highest common factor by division method. Here we have two polynomials and we need to find HCF by long division method. So let's take a look on the degree of polynomial. The higher degree polynomial must go inside and the lower degree polynomial must be the divisor. So 4x cube plus 3x square y minus 9x y square plus 2y cube will be the dividend and the divisor will be x square plus xy minus 2y square. From x square we want to make 4x cube and 4x cube what should be x square multiplied with to make it minus uh, 4x cube so this is 4x cube what we want so this should be multiplied with 4x so let's write 4x in the quotient part 4x and the entire divisor must be multiplied with 4x so x square time 4x is 4x cube plus xy time 4x is plus 4x square y so let's write this down plus 4x square y and minus 2y square time 4x will give minus 8xy square minus 8xy square and now draw the line and change the signs here and 4x cube minus 4x cube got cancelled 3x square y minus 4x square y and the answer is minus x square y and minus x y square plus 8x y square on subtraction that will give minus x y square and bring down this unused term which is plus 2y cube and now from x square we want to make minus x square minus x square y so we are missing minus y here so x square when multiplied with minus y will give minus x square y therefore we write minus y in the quotient area here and this will give us minus x square y and when plus x y multiplied with minus y will give minus x y square and minus 2 y square time minus y will give plus 2 y cube and we see here when we change signs of these terms all of them are cancelled giving us the remainder 0 and whenever the remainder is 0 the last divisor here x square plus xy minus 2y square is the HCF for these two polynomials. So for two polynomials the steps are that higher degree polynomial must be kept inside smaller degree polynomial must be outside complete the division and if the remainder is zero then the divisor is the HCF or the highest common factor so HCF is equal to x square plus x y minus 2 y square let's do another question where we have three polynomials example find HCF for the polynomials and these three polynomials are 6x cube 6x cube minus 17x square minus 5x plus 6 plus 6 and the second polynomial is 6x cube 6x cube minus 5x square minus 5x square 
minus 3x plus 2 minus 3x plus 2 and the third polynomial is 3x cube 3x cube minus 7x square 7x square plus 4 plus 4 so here we have three polynomials what we are going to do for finding HCF is we are going to consider the first two polynomials and we'll find HCF just the way we did before so solution will have be, because both of the polynomials have same degree so either one of them can go inside Let's keep 6x cubed minus 17x squared minus 5x plus 6 inside. And this will be divided by the polynomial 6x cubed minus 5x squared minus 3x plus 2. And obviously, there is the term 6x cubed inside from it's not hard to multiply. 1 so 6x cube time 1 would be 6x cube minus 5x square time 1 would be minus 5x square minus 3x plus 2 and when we change all the signs here minus plus plus minus this will cancel and minus 17x square plus 5x square will give us minus 12x square and minus 5x plus 3x will give minus 2x plus 6 minus 2 will give plus 4 and whenever there is something common during the division at any remainder if you have a remainder you can multiply a remainder with a constant number or you can take common from the remainder at any stage that doesn't affect the process so we are going to take minus 2 common and what will be here is 6x square plus x minus 2 now because this remainder here is of degree 2 while the divisor 6x cube minus 5x square minus 3x plus 2 is of degree 3 so whenever the remainder is of smaller degree than the divisor the process of division cannot continue and we have 6x cube plus x minus 2 as a remainder and now this will become the divisor 6x cube uh, 6x square plus x minus 2 will become the divisor and the divisor will become the dividend. This is the trick about finding HCF by division. So whenever you have a remainder with degree less than the divisor, keep that remainder as the divisor and the divisor becomes the dividend. So that will go inside 6x cube minus 5x square minus 3x plus 2 and now from 6x square we want to create 6x cube so obviously we need to multiply it with x which is and uh, keep that x in the quotient part this will give us 6x cube plus x square minus 2x and now draw the line and change all the signs here plus this will get cancelled and minus 5x square minus x square will become minus 6x square minus 3x plus 2x will become minus x and plus 2 will come down here that will be this and now 6x squared time minus 1 will give us minus 6x squared 
and x times minus 1 will give minus x and minus 2 times minus 1 will give us plus 2. Now when you change the signs and then you can see that they can get cancelled giving us the remainder 0. Therefore HCF is now what the last divisor which is 6x square plus x minus 2. So this HCF is going to replace the first two polynomials and we still have the third polynomial which is 3x cube 3x cube minus 7x square plus 4 and now the, for this HCF and for this third polynomial we are going to find out the HCF. So the new HCF will be for this polynomial and for this HCF which is a replacement for uh, both of the polynomial 1 and polynomial 2. And we will use the same process for finding HCF of HCF and the third polynomial. Third polynomial is of higher degree so that will go inside 3x cube minus 7x square plus 4 and this will 6x square plus x minus 2 is here and now because 3x we want out of 6x square what we want is 3x cube now we can either introduce a fraction 1 by 2x or alternatively like I said in earlier that at any point if we multiply the entire dividend with whatever constant number r we divide we can take common that's okay and uh, to avoid fractions we are going to multiply it with plus 2 so that the whole thing will become multiple of 6 so 2 times 3 would be 6x cube minus 14x square plus 8 now we will start the division so 6x square time x 6x square time what will give us 6x cube so that will be x so let's put x in the quotient area this will be 6x cube plus x time x would be x square plus x square minus 2x as there is no term involving x so we are going to write this term not under 8 rather 1 tab ahead of this uh, this would be minus 2x so this would be minus 2x and now let's change all the signs this will become plus so this gets cancelled and this will become minus 15 x square and plus 2x plus 8 that was on the top that has come down and now again because we have 6x square and we want minus 15x square it's again going to involve fraction in order to avoid fraction we are going to multiply the entire expression with minus 2 so that we have an expression which is multiple of 6 so minus 2 times minus 15 would become 30 x square minus 4 x and minus 16 and now 6 x square time what will give us 30x square so this would be plus 5 6x square 
time 5 would give us 30x square. So now this is 30x square and plus x time 5 would be plus 5x plus 5x and minus 2 time plus 5 would be minus 10 and as usual change the signs this gets cancelled minus 5x and minus 4x becomes minus 9x and minus 16 time plus 10 would become minus 6 and let's take out minus 3 as common and this will give us 3x plus 2. Now because the remainder here has degree less than the divisor, the divisor is of degree 2 and remainder is of degree 1 therefore we're going to switch over the roll and 3x plus 2 will now become the divisor and the divisor which was 6x square plus x minus 2 6x square plus x minus 2 that will become now the dividend and we continue and 3x time what must give 6x square so this obviously is 2x so we write 2x in the quotient area this will give 6x square plus 2 times 2x will give 4x and change the signs and then add them up this will be cancelled and my plus x and minus 4 this will become minus 3x and this minus 2 will come down here and now 3x time minus 1 will give us minus 3x and plus 2 time minus 1 will be minus 2 and here when we change the signs this gets cancelled giving us the remainder 0 and that's exactly what we wanted and now the HCF for all the three polynomials is equal to 3x plus 2 this is how we can calculate HCF for three polynomials.